Now is your time to start finding a lot of your winter jackets. Yes. Tomorrow morning, I would say sweaters, maybe not necessarily winter jackets, but then starting Friday morning, 40s. And Ugh. that's when you'll need that winter jacket because we're going to have that winter-like air and for a decent stretch. It's not just for one morning. It's all thanks to this cold front that is now working across the area. And behind that cold front will be the cooler air. But before we get to that, we have to get through some rainfall. A couple of showers this morning, a few more showers going into the late morning, early afternoon hours. But our Rain coverages are much lower than what we had late last night. 2.33 o'clock, peaks of sunshine. Couple of showers trying to develop around 5, 6 o'clock as another reinforcing front moves on through. So a couple of more pop-up showers along I-4 during that time period. But after that, all of the rainfall, all of the cloud cover clears out overnight tonight, and then we start to settle into that cool air. So then by tomorrow afternoon, we're in the upper 60s. By Friday, we're 10 degrees below our average of 77. And Saturday, we're even cooler with a high temperature of 66 degrees. Our morning temperatures also going to be chilly tomorrow, right at average at 57, but Friday morning 49, Saturday morning 45, Sunday morning 46. Coldest air of the season, but not the coldest air of the year. That was back in January when we dropped down to 38 degrees. So thankfully not that cold, but for some of us, we will drop into the 30 Saturday morning. So frost is going to be a concern, especially for Marion County. Start thinking about those plants that you need to either cover or bring indoors if they are very sensitive to that frost. Right now, though, it's lovely outside. We're waking up to temperatures into the 70s, and we're starting off this morning with just a couple of showers. A lot of these showers at the moment are very fine, not really being picked up by first warning radar, so a couple of sprinkles, but for the most part, we are going to be on the somewhat drier side for much of the afternoon hours. Uh, for this morning, as you get the kids ready for school, we're watching the radar and a few more isolated showers for the afternoon. But now until 9, some slick roads are possible for that morning commute. After that, it's an isolated rain chance with mix of sun and clouds for the afternoon. High temperatures today reach the 70s at average, then starting tomorrow is when we have that cool air. Your first warning seven day forecast Central Florida certified most accurate shows today 78 and we don't actually get back into the 70s until Sunday where we reach 71 degrees Monday, the mid 70s and then Tuesday we are nearing the low 80s.